Half-Life has finally got an update. And in this video, I'm going to try to uh, explain the differences between the old version and this new 25th anniversary update. Uh, stick around. Hope you liked the video. So the first thing up is the intro. Whenever you booted it up before, it didn't have any intro or anything. It just went straight to the main menu and you went from there. But Valve in this new update actually put back their original intro playing the old music and everything. And I thought that was pretty cool. I really liked how they added that back. So you know what company made the freaking game. <laughs> the only thing that's actually missing is the Sierra Studios intro that used to play before it. But we all know that they don't, uh, I don't even think that's a company anymore. I don't know. So you notice with the update, the main menu is completely changed. And if you haven't played Half-Life since before Steam, it probably looks totally different to you. But this was the menu that was actually, that Half-Life had before Steam came out. And then after that, it got converted to the Steam version, which I've never really liked. It kind of felt like they just rushed it and threw it in there. But I'm really happy that they converted back to the original pre-Steam style main menu with more dynamic and original feel to it. It just looks and feels better. They also brought back this cool sound. The first thing you'll notice when you actually start playing the game is the models are different from the old version. And that's because the old version used to use the HD models that came with the expansion pack, I think, a while ago. The 25th anniversary edition actually made it default where it plays with the original models that came with the game in 1998. And they look different, they sound different, the guns are a little bit different. But play with the old versions. That's, if you want the authentic feel of the game, play with the old versions if they just look too ugly for you. Like I saw somebody say, he looks dehydrated. Then uh, go ahead and play with the new ones. But check it out with the old ones. So when Half-Life got converted to Steam and the resolutions of computers and games got bigger, the HUD of Half-Life got smaller, dramatically smaller, so much to where it's almost hard to see. You can't see the crosshair. You can barely see what your health is and it's just getting tiny. So the updated version, they actually changed the sizes around two to three times bigger so you can see the HUD again. You can see the crosshairs again. And this is a big difference because it makes the game have a more up-to-date feel where you actually feel like you can see what's going on and it's not just so small you can't see man not only with the with the hud they also changed the uh, the fov for the default fov for widescreen because a lot of veteran half-life players actually go into the console and change the fov so it's more widescreen so you notice in the old version it's very small and it's hard to see it almost feels like you're wearing goggles or something and with the new update they actually changed it to fit for widescreen and it fits a lot better looks a lot better you can actually see what's going on a little bit and you don't look like you're in a, sitting in a box or something. One thing they added uh, back that was from the very early version is a uh, weapon sway. So if you didn't notice before, the weapons didn't move around as much. And if you play this new version, you'll be like, the weapons are flopping all over the place. And that's just something they added it back because it's old school and that's how it feels. I don't know if you can change that. I don't think you can. I think it's back for good. But I know a lot of people do not like it and it kind of drives them crazy. I've personally always kind of liked it because it just looks more organic and real kind of i i like it but hopefully the uh mo most of the majority of people like it because i think it's here to stay one part in the menu they added this where you can actually change the texture filtering you could always do this in the old version but it was a lot more complicated you have to go in the console and type in a bunch of commands and unless you really knew the game or looked it up or something, uh, you know, a normal casual player is not going to know how to do that and they're going to be confused. And it's been asked on the Steam community and Reddit and everywhere else on the planet, how do I make the textures look different? Because the textures go from a more smooth look to a more retro pixelated look. And when Half-Life first came out, it was pretty pixelated. And as uh, things got updated, it got smoothed out. But they changed it. They, they made it so it was easier to make it... Uh, more pixelated, if that makes sense. I don't think it does. <laughs> okay, so the new Half-Life update has changed and upgraded a lot of new things. Like the grenades now throw better. They feel heavier, if that makes sense. They feel heavier, they feel better. They don't feel like they're floating in water or something. They're a lot faster and smoother. They feel very nice. They fixed that. They fixed a few other issues that normal people wouldn't notice. But one thing they didn't fix that got broken through years and years of uh, being outdated, I don't know, updates or something, 
is in this particular part when a tentacle monster grabs a scientist and drags him down to the pits of wherever, it doesn't sync up anymore. And whenever I heard about this update, when I saw it came out, I was like, that had to have been one of the fixes that they did. But no, he's not. He's still he's still not synced. Even in the new version, it, he has like a two feet, you know, he's not touch. He's not grabbing him, man. He's not even touching him. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I thought they were going to fix that, but but they didn't. And I think the biggest issue in this new update is it broke many Half-Life mods. And I love playing Half-Life and I love the update, but all the mods are, not all of them, some of them still work. A lot of them are broken, even to the point where like Counter-Strike, the original Counter-Strike is even broken from what I've heard. I haven't tried it out, but that's what I've heard. And uh, you have to actually go into your Steam settings and convert it back to the old version of Half-Life to be able to play these mods again. Is Valve going to fix this? I really, really hope so because it's not the biggest issue in the world but it's just annoying enough to have to go switch back because i love to play mods there's a billion mods for half-life so if you're new to half-life and you play the game and you like it just remember there's a million mods out there and some of them i swear to god are better than the base game and these people are really talented and they do it all for free so if you ever want to play more Half-Life after this is done, play the mods. There's a billion of them. Support the modders out there. They do a great job. I hope you liked this little video. It wasn't exactly my normal style, but I, th I thought it'd be fun to try to help the newbies, Half-Life newbies, anyone that doesn't understand the update and just wants a quick, uh, someone to explain it a little bit. They don't want to read or anything. I thought it'd be a nice way to, to update them and uh, give them some information and hopefully they play. Hopefully Half-Life gets a new base of players, of new generations of people playing this game because I love this game. I hope it gets played for many, many more years to come. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, eh, subscribe if you want. But thank you. I hope you liked it. You, you have a good night. No!